So let's start to look how to create a chart with React and we're going to use the React chart.js number two component. So let's start to do this. So let's start to look at how to create a chart in React. So for this, we have here a very blank template here and I'm going to work on this. And this is a series that I'm going to focus on. And what I already did is I already installed uh, the React. And secondly, I also have installed the chart.js react number two or react chart.js number two component. So it's already installed. So I will make a separate video for that. So let's start with the very, very basics here. So we have right now this function here and this function basically loads our item here, nothing more. So what I want to do now, so let's hide this one because basically all we need is the app.js to work from. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, is we're going to create or at least install or import, that's the right term, import other apps here or components. Because I already installed the, the uh, uh, React Chart.js number two component. I need to now import this specifically. I'm going to create a line chart here. So I'm going to say here line the caps locks or capital letters, uh, line caps lock, uh, capital letter, and then from what do I want here is the react dash chart JS number two component. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to import now this specific component typing it from correctly. So once I did that, I have now the component, but I want here specifically the line, uh, everything related to the line chart. So what I'm going to do here is import. And then in this import, we're going to make this an object. And then we're going to say from the chart, as chart js and we can use chart js like that comma so that's the first one here so basically this is the reference all to this but then what i want is the following i want to have what exactly i want to create a line chart so i need the line element next what i want to do is i want to draw a scale so what i need as well is the category scale that allows us or this is basically the component we'll grab so it allows us to draw a category scale. Next, the category scale is basically the x-axis. So we can just say yeah, x-axis related. But then of course we have also the numbers, which is what we call a linear scale where we have the numbers going up. So we're going to install or import the linear scale component. And this is for the y-axis. Uh, next, what we want to do is we want to have those dots. So we can say here the point element there we are i will leave the legend and the tooltip for now and later on we're going to grab them and you'll see why this is so important so once i did this i can say here of course then from and then here chart.js getting it from the chart.js components there we are so once we did this now i need to what we call register telling to chart.js library that we have these components start working with them so i say here Chart.js, which is basically this, is a reference from this one here. And then we're going to see a dot register. So this is also when you install plugins, we can use this register command. So then what I want to do is just grab all of those that we have. And we can just put them in here. There we are. And I can just remove all of this. Just leave that. So once I have this, now we're done here. The next thing is starting to work on our app here because we have this here but now what i want to do is i want to create a line we're going to import basically the line component the line chart items so in here what i'm going to say is well let's say here uh we're going to say a line and make sure the the style that it's written it is here it's a capital letter l so this must be same as well so we have here the line tag and there we are then what I want to do is because I want to put in here some properties. So if you're familiar with a lot of my uh, videos, we always have uh, components or uh, blocks. So what I want to do is these blocks I want to use. We have one is the data block, uh, block and the data block will be equal to data. Next, we have also the options and the options will be equal. I guess we can just make this like that. Will be equal to options and these will be then the uh, constant variables or objects that we're going to refer to 
So once I did this, closing here, tag of the line, and that should be fine. So now we have this, even if I save this, you will see, of course, it doesn't work yet. We didn't define these items, not defined. And that's correct because this is an object, but this object is not returning anywhere else. So what I need to do now, is I need to start to uh, define the object, and we're going to define it just here before we return. The reason why we have the return here is just to return the response or give back a response. So what I want to do now is just enter, enter, I'm going to say here new constant and this constant will be named data, which is basically what it is. And then in the data is just all the data objects that you're very familiar with if you've watched my chart yes three videos and we have my website. So what we're going to do is we just put them here step by step. We're going to say here for the labels and let's make here the labels. We're going to use the string value. It's an array with a string value and let's say a Monday like that. Next one will be Tuesday or like that. And finally, will be Wednesday. All right. So now we have this. Put a comma here. Then we have the next item. And I think this should be very familiar, but just in case, data sets. We're going to put in here data sets. This is, of course, an array. And then with that array, we can still have the object itself. So we can just do it like this, or we can just put it like that. So then what I want to do is here a few things. So what is one of the items here as well? We have here the labels to give it a name. Let's say here, uh, sales of the week. If I save this, of course here nothing happens yet. We didn't just before uh, uh, give any value to the options as well. So we have to define it as well. However, we're just working here with labels. What do we? What should we have more? Is of course the data points. So it's a data, and the data is an array as well. And let's say here three, six, and nine. So once we have this, then we have the next other item is let's say background color. So we're going to say a background color with capital C, and we can just say here, let's make this uh, uh, aqua or something like that. That's a nice color, marine green, anything you want. So next what we have here, and this is the background color. So then what we have here is the border color, and the border color should be maybe black. That's, and then we have comma, we can just say here the point border color, and the point border color can be aqua as well. Of course, this is a string value. There we are. And uh, what we can do here is let's save this for now. I'll just save this. And you can see here something's happening, but of course, it gives an error yet. Because what it says here is line 36, 20, 36, 20. That is, of course, the options. All right. So what we're going to do next is starting to give a constant for the options. And the options is an object as well. And the options here, what can we put in here? Well, first of all, we're going to say plugins. And what I want to do is here, I just want to say a legend. By default, it's already set on true, but I'm going to put on true. You will notice later on, it will not show yet. Why? We didn't import yet or register or and even import. We didn't import the component of the legend and we didn't register it. So that's very important. But anyway, don't worry, we'll cover that. Uh, and there we have here the legend. And then what we have more is let's go to the scales. And the scales are, of course, important because we have the X scale and the Y scale. But in this case, what I want to do here is, what we can do is, um, let's do the Y scale. And then for the Y scale, I will say here a minimum value of 3 and a maximum value of 6. By doing that, I reduce the scale itself. So if I save this, and you can see already it starts to work. There you are. And I guess maybe let's comment this out for now. So you will see it will work. Nicely, we have from Monday all the way to Wednesday, so that works nicely. So what we could do here, for example, and this is all aqua, as you can see here, we could change this a bit more. And if you are wondering why is the background color not showing, because we're working here with a line chart. So if I do here comma and I will say here fill equals true, we should get now a proper response. All right, interesting. Uh, fill equals true apparently uh, doesn't work. Fill background color. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'll check that later on. So uh, what we should do here is what we could do as well is tension. And we can say 0 0.4, save that. So we have a bit of a curve, but the curve will only be noticeable if we put in some different values here. So if I do it like this, you can see here we have this nice curve. All right. So now we have this here, uh, border back. 
border color, background color. All right, that we just leave that for now. So now we have this here. What I do want is if I hover over this point here, nothing happens. And if you look at it, there is no legend and our chart is quite big. We can change that or we put it in a div. And if you want to put in a div, maybe you want to do CSS or something like that. Of course, uh, there is, uh, if I click on this, we get all the files here. You can do something there. Anyway, this is just default things. It's not even important to know because we're not focusing on that. However, I imported the CSS app file here as well. So what I'm going to do next is, well, let's start to change here. Maybe the size we could create a new div for now, which is usually uh, recommended to do. And we're going to give it a style. And this style is, of course, an object. And what we're going to say here for the style is, for example, we can put the width here of 500 pixels, which is a string value. And then we have another comma. I'm going to say the height. Let's say this will be 800 pixels. Or let's make this 800 or 600. And this will be 300. That would be better. So then we put a string here. And if we save this, all right, interesting. We get a field item here. Did we put a comma? Of course. So what is going on here? Forgot, forgot to put closing divs and tags here. So there we are. All right. So then we have this. Make sure we put this in the proper location. We have that one here. We have here another div. And then I want to indent these. There we are. So the line. Uh, tag is nested within this div here. Save. All right, interesting. We get another mistake here. So on 94, 49, 13, 49, 13. We have the width. And we have this here and the height. Hold on. All right, so of course, there's a tiny mistake in here, which is make sure that we have another bracket in here because it's an object itself. So if I save this, there we are. So we have now this here, we could even move this a little bit to the right, but this is just CS, pure CSS basically. You could say you have padding and we can make this uh, 20 pixels all over the item. There we are. So let's uh, trigger the legend here. So we have now this item and the tooltip and the legend should be shown. So what I'm going to do here up, we have here the legend, but then what I need to do is I have to, first of all, put a comma here. Then we're going to say here the legend element or component, comma, and then we're going to say here, legend component, we have to register it, if I save that, refresh, there you are, you can see it already, it shows, it shows just undefined, so let's see why is it undefined, because the term here is labels, which is not allowed, of course, it's label, so if I do label, save that, there you are, sales of the week, all right, tooltip, are you showing, not yet, let's do the tooltip next, comma, and then we're going to say here, to now we have registered, but of course we need to import that component. So we say tooltip as well here, save that, then refresh, all right, and then there we are. Look at that, beautiful. And this is basically the very first item here on how to create a simple line chart with React Chart.js tool.